more towels to clean up this this flood that I've unleashed. We're, we're actually going to Chattanooga um, on Sunday, and I had the last time. I think the last time I was there, um, I was still doing music stuff. And the, the funny part of the, that music stuff, um, this is for another time, or maybe I'll make a separate video about this. But long story, the music stuff that I did ended up. Um, it was like a complete train wreck. Like everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Um, I was even accused of um, breaking somebody's like kit that I used, which it wasn't. In any event, I'll make a separate video. Um, last time I was there was um, it was a mixed experience. So I'm curious, and I'm, I'm, I, it'll be fun. It should be fun to go back to back to Chattanooga. To be honest, I thought we were going to Knoxville until yesterday, and then I realized that Knoxville and Chattanooga are not the same place. Also, I changed the... I spent like about an hour yesterday changing and going through different presets or different settings on the DJ, DJI mics, um, and it literally looked like me just going check, 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 and then like listening back on what I had just recorded. And I think I finally figured out a setting that works for my iPhone and this camera. My, my ideal situation is I want the gain and everything to be universal between this camera and, and the iPhone. And the challenge with that is the iPhone, I don't really want to have to edit it because it's posting straight to TikTok, Instagram, or whatever else. So I'm not doing any video processing besides the compression that they're, they're doing. Um, after the fact, so I'm trying to like set it up to where the compression actually sounds good. Uh, all that being said, if this audio sounds a little bit different, um, it's because I changed some things. Mostly I took the safety track off and I just did a mono track on this, which is actually stereo, which is really, I, mean, I guess it makes sense, but it's kind of weird. And so I just brought down the receiver 12, and then I brought this down like six or five or six or something like that. So it's, it's down, it's way, way, way down um, to avoid any like peaking or, or anything else. Let me know how it sounds. I've been eating oatmeal a lot lately. Um, mostly just because it's, it's easy. One thing that I have been doing though is if, if you leave oatmeal in, in like the, the microwave too long, it'll typically overflow. And that's happened two days in a row. Three days in a row. Maybe two. Speaking of something that happened yesterday, I figured, I figured I would share this with you. So yesterday, I went on a I went on a long run, like a 12 mile run, and the run was good. Um, the weather was hot, but it was it was fine. There was nothing like it's just a normal, normal long run. Leading up to the long run, though, everything that could go wrong, probably did go wrong. Uh, from like the cats just being kind of being cats, but the thing that really really highlighted the the the, the pinnacle of. Um, of, of the morning is they've been doing like plumbing work on our on our apartment complex and uh, we read this after the toilet had done what it did but uh, they were they, they basically said like hey there may be like some issues with plumbing there may be some like backage um, from the work that we did or whatever they did um, to the apartment building well yesterday I went to the bathroom flushed the toilet it was the, everything was totally normal I walk away and then I, I get ready to like to go run. Once I have everything ready and I'm like I'm ready to I'm about to like step out the door, I start walking down our hallway to go to the the door to leave, and I step in a puddle of water. So immediately I'm like, oh crap! Is like our water heater because it's like right next to me is our water heater, um, overflowed or like busted. It wasn't that. It wasn't the washer dryer which was next to it. So I tracked the water back to the toilet that I had used. Um, and it just it was just overflowing i had to cut the water off like from the toilet and then like use all of our our towels to clean up this this flood that i've unleashed and we called the maintenance person uh, we actually called the emergency line for the maintenance guy it was actually his cell phone he was driving into work and said that he'd be there in about 30 minutes um and he basically concluded that i just took a massive dump and that <laughs> clogged it but what i'm confused about is everything like went down t totally fine and it was just it was there like it ever like the, 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 the there was nothing in the toilet and then all of this clean water from the toilet clean water from the toilet came up and like flooded our apartment so it, was, it wasn't like nasty water it was like just toilet water that was had yet to be used that was my morning yesterday 
We also went to a grand opening for a Costco yesterday. That's something that I thought I would never do. Uh, since CMA Fest is going on in downtown Nashville uh, and I haven't gone down there yet I figured I would take a stroll down to Broadway to see to see what all the all the hullabaloo is um, the reason I'm walking is if you've ever visited Nashville if you've ever driven downtown you know that that's it's an event in and of itself and some days you just don't want to deal with that today's one of those days so For those of you that, that may not know, um, CMA Fest, CMA stands for Country Music Awards to my knowledge, and the fest part is just a festival that's held in downtown Nashville, and they have like bands playing on Broadway with like big stages, they like block everything off as you probably could see right now. It's really cool, and it's, there's a, a lot of Nashville, or most of Nashville's culture is tied into country music, so it's cool that they like block down like, one of the, one of the main reasons people come to Nashville is for Broadway, they block that out and they really just celebrate their culture, their heritage, and what makes Nashville special and, um, and unique to, to the rest of the world. A uh, little disclaimer, I probably get flack for this in the comments, but I am not the biggest um, concert fan. I like music, I really do enjoy music, but Savannah and I aren't really concert goers, so that's, we, that we just, we never really go to things like this, never high on the priority list. We tried to, actually, fun fact, the last time that we bought tickets to a concert, we actually ended up selling them because we, um, we didn't want to go. <laughs> so this alleyway, um, it's probably one of my favorite alleyways in downtown Nashville. I found it on accident during a run, but I love the, the fire escapes and just like all of the different little um, like textures. And a little fun fact, I saw all of these like doors right here and I thought the establishment behind me was actually a strip club. Turns out it's not a strip club. It's just a really, really fancy, um, like, upscale bar. Hmm. <laughs> 